Good evening, everyone. Now, this is Patel from Washington, D.C. for another great episode of Warner Circle Wrestling along with Joey Styles. As we got a great uh, main event tonight as we got the United States title on the line. Oh, that is right, Patel. And I'll tell you what. Uh, let's hope they keep the politicians away from here tonight. How about that? Sounds good to me, Joey. Let's get this going. And we're going to start first with Lance Storm, our general manager. Lance Storm, a uh, Canadian superstar, uh, ECW legend, and I'll tell you what, now he's our general manager here in WCW, and uh, should be. It, it's been running pretty well under... His guidance, I'll tell you that much right now. And uh, you know what? I think the uh, investors are happy with it. Yeah, Scotty is not here right now because I think he's gone up to the thing with uh, Corey over to MSW since he's taking a little bit of vacation. Oh, yeah, all because of Jenny, uh, all because of Kenny Omega calling him out. Oh, man. Does Kenny even know what he's getting himself into, I hate to say? I don't know. I hate to say it. I really don't. Let's get the ring right now and see what, what, what Lance Storm's got to say tonight. Don't forget, next Friday is our big event. It's called War in L.A. Coming to you from Los Angeles, California. Hello, everyone. If I could be serious for a moment. Tonight's episode is going to be big. I mean, we got Bandito versus Royce Isaacs for the United States style. Everybody knows that Bandito won a battle royal last, last week to, in order to get that title shot. So, should be a good one, hopefully. I'm pretty sure of it. And you know what? The war between the contingent and the LA Dojo is continuing tonight as we've got another six-man war between them. It will be Carl Fredericks, Clark Connors, and Adam Strange taking on Tom Latimer, Price Sanders, and Pete Dunn. Should be a good one. It's Tornado Tag, so referee doesn't have to worry about any tags being made. He's just got to keep up with the action. And I'll tell you that much right now. Not only that, uh, we got another one in the tag team gauntlet match. Uh, we'll continue these until we crown number one contenders. But uh, continuing on, it's going to be the kingdom. Matt Taven and Mike uh, Bennett taking on the Von Erichs today. Should be a good one. Not only that, we got the debut of a newcomer, a second generation wrestler, the son of uh, Rick Steiner by the name of Braun Breaker. Yeah, that's right. Bronson Steiner is going to make his debut here tonight, so be ready for that one. And then also got a four-way uh, match to decide who's going to be our next uh, contenders for the women's tag team titles, held by Asia Cole and Angie Strange, aka the Best Friend Squad. So, and then we got a hardcore uh, title qualifier match. Also, we got uh, Kevin Owens against Slice Boogie. So. We're, we're stacked here tonight. I'll tell you that much right now. I can't wait for this one. Should be a good one. And I saw these fans tune in to WCW as we're on twice a week. Yes, we are. And I'll tell you that much right now. I think next week we will have an eight man battle will decide who's going to be the new contender to the new WCW World Champion Tim Storm as we're going to look and see who's up there in the rankings that can qualify for this battle royal. And it should be an interesting one. And of course the winner of the tag team gauntlet gets to be the third team involved in a three-way match along with Violence Unlimited and The Darkness. And uh, that should be a good one also as well. Alright folks, I hope you have a good night. Take care. There you go right there, folks. Lance Storm. Telling it like it is. 
He always is, Joey. I'll tell you that much right now. That's what I like about him. Sorry, I'm just uh, chomping a couple Skittles here. Ah, okay. Tasting rainbow, huh? Oh, yeah. Here we go, folks. We got the uh, another extreme title, uh, another hardcore title qualifier. Kevin Owens and Slice Boogie. Who's going to join Pagano, Jacob Fatu, Dave Boy Smith Jr., and Mance Warner? That's going to be the question. Should be interesting. These two know about brawling a little well. A little too well. And they, they do. Sly Spooky just got off a win against Johnny Gargano about a couple shows ago. And Kevin Owens is just coming back. Indeed he is. Should be a good one. I'll tell you what, yeah, definitely should be a good one. Here we go, folks. Let's start this one up. Kevin Owens coming down the lane for how about that? Kevin Owens, the grills of veteran, coming down the lane. We can see if he can make his uh, mark uh, in this uh, her Cortel qualifier. It should be a nursing one because, like you said, already you got qualified two members of country, you know, and, uh, Jacob Fatu and uh, Pagano. Also, Davey Boy Smith Jr. and Nance Warner. And, that, and that's only half a day of qual qualifiers in that one. I mean, I'll tell you what, right now, I mean, hell. I mean, this is going to be a, this should be a great hard four title qual battle. Yeah, we're going to hopefully we get the, all the names in here by the time, uh, what the heck is it, uh, War in L.A. rolls around because uh, I think the investors want to make this a uh, one of the matches on the card. And there is Slice Boogie. Here we go. Why is who here, uh, Marcus? May I ask? Who are you talking about, sir? Are you talking about Kevin Owens? Yeah, he's allowed to be here because he's underutilized by the WWE, and uh, and I'll and I won't lie about it. Yeah, the investors like uh, Kevin Owens. They they want to put him on the roster. And oh man, Slice Boogie going to work here. Oh, uh, Slice Boogie, I'll tell you what. And oh my gosh, wow, double. Pinned the arms back and dropped him on his head backwards. Yeah. Kevin Owens, I'll tell you what, definitely. Former ROH champion, former Universal champion, former Continental title holder and U.S. champion. I'll tell you what, I mean, he's got a lot of great accolades. What happened earlier? Just let Storm talk and that's what happened, yeah. That's all that happened. You didn't really miss much. Running down the card for tonight. Bandito against Royce Isaacs main event. And also a six-man mayhem match. 
Clark Connors, Carl Franks teaming up with Adam Strange to go against the contingent of uh, Vladimir Sanders and Dunn amongst the matches tonight. But this is a hardcore title qualifier. The winner will be entr the winner will be the number the fifth entrant in this matchup, as we'll still have three more to uh, decide. Indeed. Yeah, WCW thought it would be an idea to make a hard to court title because we've seen how these guys can go at it. Good call. I'll tell you that much right now. Good call. And oh, man, beautiful clothesline by Kevin Owens. And he could have used that chair. It was legal. This is an Extreme Rules match. Oh boy, and these are just going at it. And Slice Boogie, oh, backbreaker. And of course, we've seen Slice Boogie uh, was a uh, wrestle in a new area now called Championship Wrestling for Atlanta because he is the United Wrestling Network Tag Team Champs in the bodega with uh, Papa Esco and uh, Danny Limelight Rivera. Of course, these guys are also in that also are in the new LAX and uh, MLW along with Julius Smokes and Conan. Slice Boogie, he's a frequent flyer, isn't he? A frequent wrestler, more likely. And oh, Kevin Owens blocks him beautifully. And oh boy, Owens has got uh, Boogie in trouble. Oh, military gut busted. Oh, Senton, oh my gosh. Hope Slice Boogie didn't eat at that buffet at Must See Wrestling the other night. I think I was there in the back. I just, uh, I told him not to mention me in the back. I just wanted to go and uh, chit chat with everybody and have food. What, uh, how much was the bill over there at that MSW card? I heard close to 500,000. Wow. That was a hell of a lot of money that uh, they made Malachi pay for. Oh, he deserved to pay for every damn bit of it. I'll tell you that much right now. And, oh, Owen's going for a pin with the power bomb. Oh, and Boogie gets out of it. Slice Boogie, no slouch. Of course he isn't, Joey. He's uh, that's the reason why they call him the king of the concrete jungle because he can hold his own. The guy is a warrior. Not really well liked by the fans because it seems like he. He likes to piss him off a lot. Indeed, he does. I'll tell you that much right now. Oh, and uh, Owen's going to work here. Oh, oh, oh wow! Package power bomb. Going for the pin. Ah, oh, couldn't put him away. Wow. And Boogie getting out of it in an elbow. And now, Owen's going to work here. And oh man, Rams, Boogie in a court. Oh man, a lot of counters. I'll tell you that much right now. Yeah, they're both. Oh, inverted backward power slam. Holy cow. That was nasty. And I'll tell you what, but Owen's coming back with a shoulder tackle and a knockdown. And tries to get the pin, but couldn't get it. And right now, Owens just taking the slice boogie here. And right now, Owens, oh, and oh. Slice boogie playing possum. He sure was for Tal, no doubt about it. And oh, gets put in the corner. And oh, man, what a shot by boogie. Oh, boy, was he playing to go... Oh, Bulldog. Oh. Second rope Bulldog. Beautiful. That elevated hit. Oh, man. Slice Boogie not shy about using the, uh, oh, man. Wasn't shy about using the five knucklers there. And, oh, boy. Another package power bomb, kind of like. Going for the pin. No. Nah.
Kim and Owens going to work here. And uh, Owens looking to shut the book on Slice Boogie's uh, hardcore title chances right now. Oh, man. Pop a power bomb again. And he does. Kevin Owens is going to go on. So he joins Pagano, Fatu, Manser, and uh, Bull, uh, Bulldog Jr. And this uh, tournament coming up here. I mean, in this big uh, title match coming up at war in L.A. That was a hell of a victory there by Owens. Like, I met. Yeah, he had his hands full of boogie. I'll tell you that much right now. No doubt about it. But he did it. He's made it through and uh, he's won. Big win. I'll tell you that much right now. And there's Owens right there. Uh, right there and savoring the victory. Well, that just happened. It was right. And there's the familiar scene by Marcus. Well, that just happened. Don't forget to join uh, Marcus tomorrow on uh, Daytime Wrestling Wednesday as it's going to be him and Christopher in a Falls Count Anywhere match. That is right, folks. I can't wait for that one. Well, coming up next, we got a ladder tag team match. The next, the ones who win this is going to challenge the women's tag team champions at war in L.A. Look at who we got here. We got Mona and Raquel. We got Trisha Dora and Roxy. We got Miranda Alize and Alex Gracia. And then, of course, we got the Sea Stars, Ashley Vox and Delmi XO. And, oh, boy, this is going to be exciting. Oh, he says, I mean, especially you got eight women on a ladder. Expect, expect chaos, okay? Just expect chaos. This, this should be a good one, folks. I'll tell you that much right now. It's been one hell of a fight with Christopher. Oh, yeah. Christopher, liked, uh, Christopher likes to lay that opponents most of the time. Believe me, I, I've, seen the, I've seen the stuff that's been going on with him. Trust me. And let's get this one going, folks. Here we go. Yeah, definitely. That was uh, that was really chaotic that weekend. I'll tell you that much right now. Christopher is no longer the Tri American Champion, all because of Marcus Cass. Because Cass had a little revenge to pay back on Christopher when Christopher nailed him with that vicious forearm shot. And here comes Trisha Dora. We're gonna just skip the introductions here. I do apologize. We'll show everybody what they look like. We'll show everybody coming out of the ring what they look like and stuff like that. So.
And here comes Roxy. The 19-year-old prodigy, uh, I think 20-year-old prodigy. She's also now the Ring of Honor Women's Champion. Yes, she did. She beat Miranda Alze for that title uh, last weekend. I'll tell you that much right now over at Death Before Dishonor. Uh, and she is an exciting athlete to watch. Oh, we already know that you played a part in, part in uh, Punk win that championship. No doubt about it. Yeah, that, that is a given. No doubt about it. Yeah, so yeah, we heard about that. Thank goodness for uh, Ricky Steamboat, though. And here comes Mona and Raquel. Yeah, basically the members of uh, Glamour, along with Sarah Perry, which I have a problem with. Oh, yeah, I guess I heard it's been noticed. I Yeah, you know what, definitely. I'll tell you that much right now. I mean, yeah. I feel bad for you on that one, Patel. I'm so sorry. Yeah, I don't understand. I don't understand what... Uh, what, yeah, what is uh, Melody's uh, situation about that? I mean, yeah, basically. I thought we were getting along pretty good. I thought we can uh, get back together, but all of a sudden, it seems like. Ah, uh, who the hell knows? I'm sorry. Hey, it's okay. Hey. Yeah. Here we go, folks. Oh, this is going to be some mayhem right now. And you know what the objective ladder match is. The match is not over yet until somebody climbs that ladder and grabs the case off the thing that has, them, has a contract for that women's title match. You are indeed right about that, Patel. I'll tell you what right now. This is going to be a good one. And I wouldn't be surprised if there's going to be many bumps and spot, uh, many bumps and maybe some very good uh, moves if they can be put into this. Oh, yeah, tough. No doubt about it. And right now, we're going after uh, 
Looks like Delmi XO while Alize's work on box. We got Raquel going right for Gracia, and we got Roxy going out with Mona. And Patel, you know about these matches well, well. You were a pioneer of the women's wrestling division for uh, MSW and the WWL. Yeah, I was definitely. I mean, me and Rosie, we made up the uh, business club along with Alice and Tracy and uh, Belle. I'll tell you that much right now. Great times. Too bad that everybody's uh, gotten their own ego and stuff like that, except, uh, well, I, I say about two of the people. One of them's in prison, the other one is uh, wallowing in her own uh, tears because uh, she does no longer have power in MSW. folks. Ow. And right now it looks like uh, Mona's trying to try and make the first shot at uh, maybe climbing that ladder. Who knows? I mean, let's put it that way. This is, uh, oh, right now Roxy taking the Miranda all day, I guess. The, the rivalry star still continue for Ring of Honor, folks. And it's like right now, here we go. Now it looks like Delmi's trying to take the trying to take the case down from the ladder, but Raquel meets her and oh boy, we got a little fist of pulse going on here at the top. Oh race is gonna reach all the into and uh oh man. They were just nailing each other some haymakers. Oh, oh, and Raquel gets it. And now oh man, and oh Raquel takes the big fall down from the ladder as uh, Delmi's going up for that. Thing. Uh oh, Alze hitting the back of Delmi trying to stop her. But right now it looks like she's having problems. Oh, and Ashley Box doing a good job of blocking Alze from letting her uh, from breaking up her partner from grabbing that briefcase. Oh, and the Sea Stars will win it. Wow. Just like at the minute that Delmi loses the title, she's back in the title chase in the tag team division with one Miss Ashley Box. Well, that is a big, that is a big, huge win. I'll tell you that much right now. Holy cow, man. Really beautiful. Big win.
and unbelievable, folks. Big victory for those girls. Congratu congratulations. And let's see what's coming up next here. Oh, Nick Aldis. He's got something to say. He is uh, a chair member of the contingent. Yes, he is. Nick Aldis. A member of the... A, a member... Uh, what is it? A member of the... Uh, the veteran member, I would say, of the uh, group. The uh, C, of that group, uh, the uh, contingent. Along with Pete Dunn, Price Sanders, and... Tom Latimer. Of course, Aldous knows him all too well because him and uh, all him and Aldous and Latimer are members of a group in the NWA called Strictly Business. That is, you know what? That is so correct. Yeah, definitely. Let's see what the National Treasure's got to say. Well, 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 how y'all doing tonight? I'll tell you what, you know what I'm gonna say something right now. I mean, basically, the contingent is has a little bit of a slump going on, but you know what? We're gonna get back on track, no doubt about it. And I'll tell you what, I'm going to make a, uh, you know what, down the road, I'm going to be in that battle world to decide who's going to go against Tim Storm next. And I have a history with Tim Storm. Oh, boy. I remember when I first won my first NWA World title. Off of him. It was a gracious moment when Austin Idol led me down the ring, and I beat Tim Storm to become the champion. No doubt about it. That would be one of the most historic, uh, Moments of my wrestling career, no doubt. Yeah, of course. Yeah, you just saw me recently just finish up a uh, my uh, reign of over a thousand days before losing it to Trevor Murdoch. You know, I I can see Harley up in the sky just proud of me. That yeah, basically, and it's a good feeling. I'll tell you what, and I'm pretty sure the boys and the contingent will take care of. Fred Ricks and Connors, no doubt about it. I guarantee him, I have a lot of trust in those three. They'll, they'll get back on track, trust me. And, you know, no doubt about it. Oh, uh, speaking of contingent members, here comes Tom Latimer. Yes, the one that they call the king of all evil. A.K.A. Bram, A.K.A. Cam uh, Cameron when he was with the Ascension. Here comes Tom Latimer. Oh boy. And he looks like he's not happy at all this right now. Oh man. You know something, Nicholas? I have a problem with you. Where the hell were you in this war against the L.A. Dojo? Huh? Where were you? I want you to explain yourself right now. Right bloody now, you jerk. Huh? Well, guys, I thought I left in your hands because I thought that you could take care of business. You know what, Connors and Fredericks you should easily take care of these guys because these are wet behind the ears rookies, okay? I didn't expect what M. Strange and our former business associate, Royce Isaacs, get involved, but you have no, you should have no problem with them. Well, that's all right, Nick. I'll tell you what. Me and the boys were talking in the back. And I'll tell you what right now. We have come to a decision. And that decision is... We're kicking you out of the contingent. You know, you're on your own, boy. You're on your own, Nikki. Oh, bloody hell, are you kidding me? Wow. 
You kicked me out of the contention? Wow, you know what? Damn. You're the guys that weren't doing anything really well, and you kicked me out of the contention. Every time I was in the six-man matches, we always won them. Every time you came in there, you lost them. Shut your mouth, scoundrel. You know what? You want me to bash your teeth down your throat? I don't care how many times you held the rule title. You know something, Nick? You're not helping the contingent. But speaking of which, we're going to change our name. We're going to go by the name LSD. Vladimir Sanders and Don. And let me tell you something right now, uh, Nicky boy. Nah, nah, nah. Let me tell you something right now, Tom. You know what? Fine. I'll leave. But you know what? I guarantee you something right now. I guarantee you I can find more success on my own than with you, with you guys, you ungrateful pack of wolves. I'll tell you that much right now. <laughs> You're an idiot. You're a bloody idiot. You always win your matches with our help. How many times did you retain the title with our help? When you're NWA champion, how many times, huh, Nick? I can't even count. I don't have I don't have enough fingers on my hand to uh, count them all. But you know what? I have won some essential matches. Don't uh, don't don't try to square me completely. I'm gonna tell you what right now. I have beaten Cody Rhodes on my own. I only had Camille out there to watch out for Cody's. Your ungrateful wife, Brandy. And you know what? You want to kick me out? That's fine. I'm gonna, I'm gonna find me some uh, other friends. Basically, I guarantee you that much right now. Another match back. Just think next Tuesday. We'll find out who those other two teams are, but I think I heard rumors who they are. It was going to be the Contra unit, but now we found out that Jacob Fatu and uh, Pagano have both qualified for the uh, hardcore, hardcore title match at War in LA. So looks like we yeah, looks like they have to go in the they have to go and find out who they can bring in to uh, fill in that spot because one of them I'm pretty sure it's going to be the Idol Makers, uh, Ryan Fisher and Marvelous Merle. Ah, so they're making their return back, aren't they? Got done with it. I think I just heard they got done with an extensive tour in Japan. I'm speaking of Japan. Congratulations to Matt Bennett for winning the IWGP title. I wish they would have televised that match because I would love to seen it. I know who was really uh, not really happy with that was Corey Crichton. He wasn't happy about Matt Bennett winning the title. He was happy about New Japan not putting it on TV. He says that he says that nobody does not understand how important of prestige that IWGP title is. Except for of course Roman Reigns when he was bad mouth and Crichton when he was holding that belt, saying it was worth nothing. That's only for people that don't wrestle in Japan. Oh indeed it is. 
But right now, we got a very big gauntlet match here. I'll tell you that much right now. The Von Erichs going to meet up against Taven and Bennett. The winner of this overall gauntlet is going to be a third team named in that matchup with Violence Unlimited and with uh, the Darkness. But that's going to be something else. I'll tell you that much right now. No doubt. And there is Taven and Bennett right there. The kingdom. Of course, what I remember one time was a three-man group with uh, Adam Cole, who is now in MSW causing trouble along with the elite buddies. What happened in that ladder match? The Sea Stars won. Ashley Vox and Delmi XO, they're now going to be uh, challenging best friend squad at War in LA next Friday. That's what's going to be happening. Yeah, that's what happened in that ladder match. So, uh, Domi XO and Ashley Vox will be the next team to challenge for the uh, tag team titles uh, next Friday at War in LA in Los Angeles. And now we got Ross and Taven starting off, and I and I will be right back on the news facilities. And Marshall now taking it to Mike Bennett. And the Von Erichs is uh, what Marcus is telling us. The Von Erichs is uh, his first and so far the only tag team champions right now at the moment. And his federation they calls M-U-O-W. I think it stands for Marcus Universal Wrestling, if I'm correct, if I heard that correctly. Good name, definitely. And right now, we watch, oh, and Marshall gets a boot right in the face by Bennett. Bennett is a pretty underestimated, uh, not, not, don't underestimate Mike Bennett. And right now, Taven going right at it with, uh, Marshall Von Erich, and you can tell that, that He's got that knee brace on his left leg because he's had extensive surgery on that left knee. Yeah, definitely. That's like a, sh you know what? That's like a shark smelling water, uh, blood in the water on that one. Except the blood is a knee brace. Marshall keeping Taven at bay. Good, uh, good uh, work by the. Uh, Von Erich kids, the kids of Kevin Von Erich, and the nephews of uh, 
Light carry and David. Taven now going right out of there with uh, Ross. He throws him in the corner. Oh man, and a flying forearm. Starts to right in his face there. And right now Taven grabbing uh, Ross. Ooh, back first in a turnbuckle. Ouch. Is Bennett getting a little fed up about something? Wow. Don't lose your cool yet, Mike. You're uh, you may be uh, you might be continuing this gauntlet on. The winner is yeah. Clark and Carl Butch on a plate. Oh yeah. Butch and boy, that's a pretty interesting tag team. You know, that's the question with the AEW agreement they got with MSW right now. Are we going to maybe see those guys maybe pop up in MSW and challenge for the tag team titles? I wouldn't mind seeing a Butcher, Blade, and Wolfpack match. You know, you may never know. I'll tell you that much right now. I mean, that agreement they signed pretty damn well. Yeah, we got a little bit of agreement with AEW and also Ring of Honor and uh, NWA for that matter and MLW. We got an agreement with New Japan, even though we don't have the IWGP title. I guess Shockwave owns that right now. And right now, uh, oh, and Ross has got that claw right on Taven. Oh, my gosh, man. Right, oh, man, Taven trying to get out of it. And Shockwave was on here. Good evening. Taven right now. Oh, Ross escapes it and misses the clothesline. And now Taven in trouble again. Gets put in enemy territory. And wow, gets uh, Taven gets out of it with a beautiful drop hold. And right now Taven choking, showing those dirty underhand tactics. He, you know, he is a fan of the Ring of Honor, no doubt about it. Of course, uh, Taven and Bennett, we can't forget, they uh, recently won a uh, big-time contenders match down there against the Briscoe Brothers. You know, I'll tell you what, Styles, I'm going to tell you the truth right now. I wouldn't mind seeing um, beat Kenny King and Dragon Lee. What is ROH's love fest with Kenny King? I don't understand. Do you love chicken? <laughs> Oh my gosh, that's right. Kenny King's was the name of a chicken place before it became KFC. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, that's just too funny. <laughs> and right now, Ross pulling away on Taven. Oh, and Climax, there you go. That snap, that headlock driver, he calls the climax. One, two, oh man. If Bennett would have got over there, I think they could have got him, and that would have been a major win for the kingdom. And oh, what's Taven going for? Is he going for a frog spot? If he does, this might be it. <laughs> yeah, I think we still call it Kenny Kings because there's still more memory to it than uh, KFC is. But there's a wrestler in Ken and ROH by name of Kenny King, which is, it's funny. It's like every time they say his name, it's like, ah, chicken place. And right now, Ross has got, he's uh, digging into that right shoulder at Taven as he's, Try and neutralize the nerves in that shoulder because if you do, that means you neutralize some of Taven's moves he likes using. Indeed, he does, huh, Patel? And right now, he's like Taven's still throwing the after effects, but no, he comes out of the corner and nails Ross in the knee. Oh my gosh. Beautiful. And uh oh. Eric Bennett, Mike Bennett now going on airborne on uh, Ross Von Eric.
2K18, yeah, that's a solid game. Down. Oh, man, Bennett tried going for a clothesline, and uh, Ross just nailed him with a stun gun, and oh, man. Bennett and Tatum pulling out some dirty tricks as they just scraped the eyes of Ross. Oh, but Ross coming back with a strong drop kick. And, oh boy, technical difficulties. What the heck? They decided to pause on us. No, we're not going to have any of the other tonight, guys. No doubt about it. And Bennett, and I think Ross is bleeding. I seen a little shade of red there, and he tried going for a super kick and could not uh, connect. Oh, and Ross with a beautiful cross body, and look at Taven distracting referee. Good strategy. Oh man, and uh, referee gets knocked down in the whole practice. Oh yeah, AEW Dark's been some very good stuff. I, you know what? I can't wait to see tomorrow's. Uh, I can't wait to see tomorrow's Grand Slam event and uh, where they got a mass. I think in uh, New York there, it should be interesting. And uh oh, little acrobatics there by Ross as he throws Ben off the game and trying to get him with a sunset throw. Definitely, yeah. Should be a good one. It might be an awkward show for MSW because we know that uh, they have a talent agreement with AEW, so uh, who knows what kind of matches might be happening tomorrow. I guess never say never, and oh, nice uh, twirl and neck breaker by, oh, Taven, oh, Taven set it up here, and oh, Climax, that's what he calls that move, that nasty headlock driver, my God, Taven and Bennett uh, racked up another victory, they been on a roll, wow. Unbelievable. Well, Vampiro712 says you have a better memory. You have a better memory than he does. Yeah. Definitely. And Taven and Bennett, uh, I mean, man. I'll tell you what, the Kingdom are on a wall. Or the OKG, as they, uh, the OGK they call themselves, the original gangsters of the Kingdom as they call themselves. Big win for those two, I mean, two more matches and they can wind up being that third team in that upcoming tag team match at War in LA. Stay tuned folks. More, more, yeah. That is so that is so true. You are. Yeah. Yeah, so many, definitely. Vampiro was telling me the memory he remembers was when Joe Masker beat the Snile Triple H in a match. Oh, here we go, folks. Big time debut. Braun Breaker going against Arya Davari. Both these guys have famous relatives in the wrestling business. Arya is the brother of Sean Davari. And Braun Breaker, well, everybody, his real name is Bronson Rex Steiner. And you know who his dad is? Rick Steiner. His uncle is Scott. This ought to be interesting. There's been a lot of talk about this guy, so we'll check and see what Braun Breaker can do here in his debut tonight. I'll tell you what, Fatal, big signing here. I, you know, it's in, it is so incredible. I'll tell you what, 
watching somebody like the son of Rick Steiner and the nephew Scott. This is going to be interesting. But Arya Devari, don't, don't count him out. He can have an opportunity to ruin the Shatter Kid's dreams of uh, getting a successful debut here in uh, WCW. And from what I saw on NXT with uh, Braun Breaker, he looks pretty impressive. The kid's got the same intensity and power like his dad did. And his uncle. And there he is, folks. Braun Breaker. A.K.A. Bronson Rex Steiner. That's his real name. Yeah, well, yeah, it wouldn't be a bad idea. He's still, he's still thinking about changing his main name down here, actually. Yeah. Well, that's a WWE's fault. From what I heard, that says that I guess nobody's not allowed to mention him as a relative of the Steiners. You believe that? You believe that, baloney? That is a true thing about it. And I'll call out character about that. I think it's the dumbest thing in the world. That, that can. I don't, I don't know. I don't, you know, unlike some of the kids that. Have famous wrestling fathers. I think uh, he's got a chance of making it really big. If he could keep up the intensity like his dad and uncle did, he's got a good chance of keeping up uh, doing something really big. And I do agree, that is the stupidest thing. No doubt about it. You're not going to hear me disagree with that at all. And right now, Davari going to work on... Uh, Braun, Braun, you know what, screw it, we're just going to change his name right now. Bronson Steiner, there you go. That's his name. And right now, uh, Bronson Steiner going to work on uh, Davari. We just baptized him. Yeah, no doubt about it. If anything good out the next team 2.0, then I mean, he's probably one of the bright spots. Oh man, look at that. Just runs and more close line. That is beautiful. That's showing you power. That Steiner power. And right now, Bronson going to work here on uh wow, Williams Davari's head. And right now, Bronson going to work. Beautiful. Hostile crowd here in uh, Washington, D.C., man. And right now, Tabari going. Oh man, that great. takes an elbow to the face.
Gotcha. And oh man, stomping away. Bavari's got this kid on the on, on the ropes here, basically. Well, on the ropes, I'm talking about uh, in trouble. Now that would be interesting if we can get it. Yeah, Bron Bronson Stunner against uh, what's it? Uh, Brian Cage would be interesting, no doubt about it. Yeah, that, that would be something else. And oh man, clothesline by Davari. He's giving this kid some trouble right now. I mean, if Davari wins this one against Bronson Stunner, he can maybe find himself in uh, another appearance. Maybe he can find himself a few more appearances down the road on WCW. Oh, but look at that. Rolls out there. Good job by uh, the great second generation run. Oh, man. Oh, look at the power. Oh, my gosh. Military press power slam. Going for a pin. No, it gets out of it. Wow. So Bronson Steiner taking uh taking it to Barry here. The Barry's taking it to him too. I mean, this is a pretty uh, interesting matchup. Oh, man. What a powerful clothesline. Indeed. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Hey, always a plan. Definitely. Oh, what the heck? Wow. That's a little odd. Bronson used the ropes? Wow. I thought it would not be in his uh, forte there. Oh, turnbuckle powerbomb. Oh. I think he just might have shook up. Oh, wait a minute, but... Oh, look at Davari. Yeah. That great resiliency and agility. I'll tell you what, I gotta give him credit. Oh man, there's a chop. And a kick, and oh. Sends him down. Going for the pin. No. And Braun now going out with uh, Davari. No, couldn't put, couldn't put him down. Wow. Oh boy, and oh, Braun is bleeding. Oh, hammerlock DDT by Davari. Oh. Oh, he's gone now again, and uh oh. Set him up. Oh, there's a military press power slam. Sounds good. And, Bra and Bronson Steiner is going to win. Forget that name, Braun Breaker. We're just going to call him Bronson Steiner. Big win. Very big win. I'll tell you that much right now. That was huge. And there you go, you see some of the highlights right there. And 
and here we oh, okay. Oh, shout out time, okay. Go ahead, go on ahead with it, man. Definitely. Blood, he's going to have to go to the medical center and get checked out. Coming up next, we got the future challenger for Tina Pams' world title in action next. Nicole Savoy, at the suplex queen, as she takes on Lady Frost. Oh, this should be a good one. I'll tell you that much right now. Lady Frost looking to make her way up the ladder here. And uh, thing, she is one half a chill or be chill with uh, Lindsay Snow, but... She's going to have herself a tough challenge on the hands here with Savoy tonight. Definitely. Oh, wow. The Rolling Stones come out that uh, specialty. Nice. The 500 greatest songs of all time a few days ago. Huh. Interesting. Sounds good. We'll see how many of my favorite songs will be on that list. But getting back to action here, as we got... These two are going to go ahead next, and afterwards, come up as a six-man match. And, of course, the main event, which is going to be... Royce Isaacs against Bandito, and a matchup for Royce Isaacs' uh, United States title. Let's get the ring right now, shall we? And there is Nicole Savoy, the suplex queen. She's been really uh, showing some real good sportsmanship to uh, one Tina Pams. She stood, she stepped aside for uh, so Tina can get the title shot against Delmi. And Tina won. Now they're setting stone for next Friday. It will be Tina Pams against Nicole Savoy. World title, world women's title on the line. There is Lady Frost. Here we go, folks. The coolest wrestler in the world going against the suplex queen. And the suplex queen seemed like she won that first move with a beautiful uh, overhead suplex. Indeed, she did. And right now, Savoy controlling the match at her own pace. Grab it onto the neck, but oh, and Frost. Break out the momentum. Now, Frost taking it to uh, Savoy. And, and Frost having this, uh, oh, wait a minute, no, Frost. I spoke too soon. Frost was having it under control, and then Savoy just busts out a big time clothesline that sends Frost over the top rope. Indeed, I'll tell you what, man, that was something. That was a, that was a power move by Savoy. 
Oh, beautiful hooks. Wow. Tell you what. This is pretty good, uh, basically. I'll tell you that much. And, uh... Right now... Ow. And right now, I'll tell you what, this is, uh, um, oh, and now, oh, that almost was close. Wow. Boss is just getting it. Wow. And right now they're taking it to the outside. Oh my gosh, man. Drop kick to the back. Ooh, man. I'll tell you what. This is turning some pretty damn good stuff. I'll tell you how much right now. Yeah. Oh man, Cross taking her down. Oh man, Cross is uh, now in trouble. And now Savoy has her in that move that she made Sarah Perry tap out to, but Frost does not give up, and Savoy's just going to let go of it. Oh, man, right there. And I'll tell you what, Savoy, I'll tell you what, uh, she's, yeah, she's really got herself at home and fight here. Uh, she wanted a warm-up match before she uh, takes on Tina Pams next week, and... Uh, She's got one. She's got one heck of a match with Frost. Oh man! Oh DDT! Oh women and beautiful takedown by Savoy. Oh Dragon Sleeper! Oh boy! <laughs> We've seen the likes of Joe Kenny and Bobby Lashley use that move, and also uh, Malachi uh, Black and uh, Brian Danielson also moves that. Indeed, I'll tell you what, Dragon Sleep is a very dangerous move because it holds the neck back and uh, makes you uh, want to fall asleep, basically, when you're held in that position so long. Oh man, almost. What a matchup between these two. Unbelievable. And Savoy throwing Frost off the game now. As all. Oh. Head and arm suplex. And boy, did you see Frost's body go limp? Yeah, I did. And that will do it. Savoy wins. Looked very sharp in that one.
Like how it is, like how it is since you uh, been gone way higher than beat it, yeah. <laughs> Well, since you, yeah, be, be, well, you, you know, what, I, I can understand, but, you know, I'm, I'm going to be a little, yeah, I'm going to be a little, uh, I'll be a little uh, cordial towards the cars on that one. I've always been a fan since you've been, if, uh, yeah, since you've been gone. I mean, that was a very good song by him. You know, I know Beat It was a really popular one on the top ten. Definitely. That was the one that started that whole uh, thriller phenomenon for Michael Jackson in the 80s. And there's your winner right there, Nicole Savoy. Yeah, she earned it, definitely. Nicole Savoy. And her salmon is only 350. Holy cow. Oh my gosh. And that came off a memorable album, my God, the Black Album. That was a very memorable album. That was like one of, uh, you know, Metallica's earlier albums were great too. I mean, but the Black Album was always a uh, really familiar one. Uh, that was like one of an album I could listen to from all the way start to finish. There wasn't even a bad song on there. And even probably whatever would have been considered a bad song by some of the fans was even good. Oh boy. Oh man. What's Melody doing here? Oh gosh. Oh geez. Try to take it all and contrast off a towel. I don't know. Number one makes sense though. I wonder one B, I wonder. As Melody Crichton's gonna be coming to the ring. Oh boy. Wonder what she's got to say. Wonder what she's gonna she's got to talk she can talk about a lot of topics. Including her husband uh getting ready to face off against Kenny Omega on Return to Wasteland October third for MSW. Indeed, I can't wait for that one. I, I did order my tickets right away when I heard that one's gonna be signed. That is a dream match and a half. Ah, I got you. I can, you know, I can understand that. It can be a very valid point. Definitely. And there's Melody right there. I know you all think I was going to be down in must-see wrestling already with Corey Clayton as uh, he's going to be uh, going for his biggest match of his career. But you know what? I told Corey I'll meet him there tomorrow. I have a few things to address here. And uh, one pertains to the situation where my dad has gone back to somebody that he uh, was burned by years ago, okay? But I'll take it easy. Trying to. And you know what? I don't know. I don't know if I'm I you know I don't know if I'm ready to let my dad go back to Fatal, okay? Fatal and Tonic. I mean Fatal and my dad did not get along really well in the end, basically. And uh, you know, I felt really bad. I just don't want to see my dad get burned. That's all. I just don't want to see him get burned. Oh boy, Fatella has just made her way to the ring. Good God Almighty. Oh man. Oh jeez. This is going to be interesting, folks. Wow. And here is Fatella in the ring right now.
Wait a minute, Melody. What, what, how many times I gotta tell you I'm sorry? I, you know what happened between me and your dad in the past was just wrong. I mean, uh, basically the thing about it was, it was my fault. I'll admit to it. And you want me to apologize to you? I will apologize to you. I'm sorry, but you know what? Me and your dad seem like you're getting, we're getting along really good. You don't understand, Fatal. I don't want you hurting my dad ever again. He was really heartbroken. And you know what? I should really give my blessing to you know who. And uh, you know what? Uh, you know, I'm thinking about. It. I'm very much thinking strongly. You know what? Corey has convinced me not to. You know what, Melody? You don't. You know what? Don't, please. Sarah Perry is nothing but a little schoolgirl crush that's trying to get her older school teacher, uh, love, ma a love, bo a love man, to uh, do that, and she sees the love man as your dad, and he'll ruin, she'll ruin him. If you're sure about that, are you sure about that? Because you know what? If I find out you're lying and you ruin him in the end, I'm gonna tell you what right now. I will never ever forgive you Patel. I will never forgive you because my dad's been broken through enough already especially with that one little uh little I'm not like Michelle Marquis okay I'm not like her I'm not like the one I'm not gonna run off and go marry somebody that's named after a fish all right let me tell you something right now uh Melody I love your dad very much and you know what I'm trying to make up for my mistakes what I did the first time, and I promise I will not make those mistakes again. All right, I'm willing to give the vote of trust. I just want to make sure that you understand what it can be prepared for you if you dare betray my dad again. I'm not going to have it, Patel. I'll tell you that much right now. But, of course, what are you going to do about your daughter, Maya? Because she doesn't seem to be happy with it. Maya is horrified right now. She's gotten uh, tortured by Tracy Torman, and you know what? I'm trying to talk to her. I'm trying to tell her that, you know what? I'm trying to make life better. I know I was not there for her most of the time, but you know what? I'm trying to make up for that role too. And uh, I just need everybody just to cooperate with me, and I promise it'll turn out to be good. Oh, yeah, yeah, well, okay, what? Well, you know what? You deserve that. Oh, man. Oh, oh. oh, no, this is not gonna be good. Oh, my gosh. Are you kidding me? Wow. Oh, gosh. And, uh, man. Melody is just giving... Oh, man. And Patel. Oh, man. And Patel just put a knee right in the face of Melody. Oh, gosh. Man. We got Rage's father and girlfriend playing in here. What the heck? Oh, man. And Melody just dropping him, dropping him to tell on her head with that hurt. Oh, man. Maybe Melody has not forgiven Fatal for what she did to her dad in the past. Who knows? Oh my gosh. I'll tell you what, I guess I'm going to be doing commentary by myself. Well, let's get going to the next matchup. Here it is, folks. The six-man tornado tag, which was one of the big matches advertised for tonight. Sanders, Dunn, and Latimer, but they're now known as a new group, LSD. As they'll be going against Clark Connors, Carl Fredericks, and the Dojo. Team up with Violence Unlimited's Adam Strange. That's going to be a good matchup. But I don't know what just happened there. Oh, wait a minute, I got somebody joining me over here at the uh, broadcasting table. Oh, how are you doing, Joe? Doing good, Styles. I cannot believe what I just saw in the ring. I, 
I had to put those two in two separate locker rooms. Fatel, I guess I just seen that she had a bloody lip from Melody. And Melody didn't look too good either. I don't know what the heck got into Melody, but... Corey right now, I, you know what? I, I hope Corey's not watching this. Because I think he might be wrestling tomorrow night and this might dawn on his mind. Oh, you ain't kidding, Joe. I'll tell you what, right now, I mean... What is going on? Beats the living hell out of me. I'll tell you how much right now, Styles. Beats the living hell out of me. Yeah, definitely. Let's. Marcus says, let's go, boys, and strange. Hopefully they can win one against the group that's now known as LSD, if you did not hear. Vladimir, Sanders, and Dunn have kicked Nick Aldis out of the group. You heard me correctly. I'm not, I'm not stuttering. Yeah, that was something else. I'll tell you what right now. Nick Aldis, he's like a charter veteran member of the group and the most, I would say the most experienced member of the group, and he gets kicked out by... Uh, well, I heard some rumors when uh, Tonic was talking to Sanders. I mean, Tonic was talking to Aldis, watch out for Sanders, and he might have a lot to do with this. We'll have to see how that plays down the road. Let's get to the ring right now. Oh, boy. That's all I got to say. I'm not even going to repeat what Marcus has said. Oh my gosh, a batch, a batch of a-holes. We'll just say that. I won't even say the word in there. And there is the group that's now known as LSD. Vladimir Sanders and Dunn. comes uh, L.A. Dojo. <laughs> LSD. <laughs> I'd rather take the drug than watch their matches. Oh, there's a saying of the night. <laughs> yeah, that is funny. I'll tell you that much right now. I forgot about LSD standing for that. Wow. But, of course, they took their initials and put that all together. Definitely. It should be a good six man during the twenty oh two. The only thing the referee needs to do is count the pen. That's all he needs to do. And here comes Adam Strange. And the only reason why he's wrestling down here in WCW is that his uh, wife, my daughter, is the accountant. Yeah, that was right. She takes care of the books, doesn't she? And she balances them out pretty damn well. No doubt about it.
This is going to be interesting, folks. There we go, folks. Six man mayhem, like they said tonight on the title. Six man mayhem. And right now, then they're attacking Clark uh, Connor's leg here. I'll tell you that. And Strange taking it to Dawn. Frederick's going right to Sanders. Definitely, no doubt about it. I don't know why the referee does that. And now, Sam, and now Connor's looking over there on the ladder here, and right now, Fredericks just took over Sanders with Bishop and Bishop on the side. That'll make right Mike Rotunda blush. And Connor's giving it to, uh, Vladimir, man, he just nailed him in a nasty knee to the face. It's just getting worked over or working over uh, poor Adam Strange. Wow. And Frederick's uh, shown his uh, support for the fans. Let's get it going here against uh, Sanders. Done now, going right after Strange here, and uh oh. Oh man, X Plex. Yeah, definitely. Clark is looking good after having his. Uh, Having time to recover from his knee. No doubt about it, but done. Uh oh. Oh, bitter end. Oh, bitter end. Bitter end. And Strange breaking out the pin before he, the referee can even count one. And right now, uh oh. Strange has done in trouble. Oh, beautiful. Flip over. And Strange playing it with Sanders now. These two are no strangers to each other, no doubt about it. They've known these guys for a while. Oh! And Connors just took down Latimer. Oh, what a suplex. They're beautifully done by Connors. Wow. Uh oh. Sanders in trouble and. Manifest Destiny. There's that impaling DT calls the Manifest Destiny. And they get the win. Carl Fredericks picks up the pin again. Wow. Well, all this predicted uh, bad things to happen now that he got kicked out of the... Uh, Contingent, and now they renamed themselves LSD, and not in a good way. Sanders gets hit with the uh, Manifest Destiny, and that was it. Indeed it was, Joe. I'll tell you what, right now, oh my gosh, man. What a big victory for Carl Fredericks. That might put him in uh, notice for maybe a future title shot down the road. I don't know, maybe a TV title shot, maybe him and Connors could wind up being a uh, tag team championship. Who knows? 
and also made Adam Strange look really good too because he decided to help him out tonight and uh, it paid off. And now Marcus is running down the ramp like a, little, like a cheerleader and definitely he is and he's got to be happy, I'll tell you that much right now. I know he's been grooming these guys alongside Kip Sabian. No doubt about it. Well, Joe, coming up next, we got the big main event. Royce Isaacs to defend the United States title against Bandito. This one's going to be a contrast of styles, Joey. I'm going to tell you how much right now. Royce, he's uh, he's like that strong style, like in uh, like in uh, New Japan Strong, and uh, Bandito, he's 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 all lucha. So very good. Two contrast of styles. Yeah, Marcus is telling Strange good work, and I'll tell you what, uh, yeah, basically, you know what? Yeah, it's being there, I mean, uh, he, he did his role. He was there to help out Carl and, uh, Clark win that match, and it worked. It's called what it is. It worked. And let's get the ring right now, shall we? Main event time it is. There we go. Will we see a new United States champion or will Royce be able to retain? That's going to be the question. There is Bandito right there, the our the Ring of Honor champion. Keep winning, you two will go up the ladder, tag ladder in no time. No doubt about it, they're gonna, they're, yeah, they definitely, yeah, they, you know what, they got my interest, I'll tell you how much right now. Clark and Carl, it uh, seems like they've been putting together some victory, so, you know, no doubt about it, and I'm gonna go use the facilities one more time before this match gets underway.
And right now there is a championship right there, uh, Joey Styles, that United States Championship. Indeed, Royce Isaacs has won that title. He's the first United States Champion, the only United States Champion right now, as he won that in that eight-man ladder match. Indeed he is. This should be a good one. And Isaacs starting off quickly, picking up Bandito and nailing with that nice backbreaker. Indeed. And Isaac's keeping the advantage on his challenger. And now, oh, Kung, yeah, Bandillo acts like dead weight as he grabbed Isaac's downward and nailed with that nice uh, little knee assisted neck breaker. And now, oh man. Of course, Bandito is the current Ring of Honor world champion. Yeah, there's a rumor I keep hearing about. I guess the promoters in Ring of Honor would not mind having their title defended over here. That would be great. I'll tell you that much right now. And Bandito taking to Royce Isaacs there. And oh, oh man, getting slapped around the kick and a clothesline by the challenger. Bandito, Bandito being a little spitfire. Tell you that much right now. And now they're taking it outside, folks. Royce is trying to get a breather, and uh, Bandito wouldn't let anything happen like that. He, that's the objective. You got to stay on your opponent until you get that three count. You are right about that, Joe. And right now, Bandito gets thrown back in the ring as Isaacs managed gets the advantage again. Isaacs is not going to take. It's not going to take this lane down. I'll tell you that much right now. No doubt about it. Oh man, and Isaacs just uh, threw a uh, uh, nailed uh, uh, Bandito, and uh oh, set it up. Uh, oh man, oh man, kind of like a kind of like a side slam almost from Fireman's Carry. I'm pretty sure Clark and Carl did get Marcus's message. No doubt about it, as he talked about calling them. Probably call them the prospects of the future. Definitely. They look like they could be uh, great stars down the road, definitely. No doubt about it. I'll tell you what, right now, Joey Styles, I'll tell you what, the thing about it is that wrestling has changed so much. It used to be a big man sport, now all of a sudden it's like, uh, you know what? If you're just skilled, no matter what size you are, you can succeed. Oh, you're not kidding me. I'll tell you that much right now. What do you think about your, uh, I guess your latest find? I heard Brody Williams, unfortunately, lost to Sean Spears. I told the kid he's going to suffer his first loss. I was like, don't let him keep it down, you know? That's the thing about it. And I'll tell him again, Brody, don't let it, don't let it beat you. You let it beat you, that's, you know what, uh, yeah, that could be it for you. Oh, man, Flapjack. Shades of Bobby Eaton right there. Indeed, the late, great Bobby Eaton. You used to use that as one of his moves. That and the Alabama jam leg drop. And Isaacs with the hammer right down the back. I told you, Isaacs was not going to take this lying down, no doubt about it. I mean, nothing wrong with Bandito, and Isaac seems to understand how skillful an opponent he has. He does. And right now, Isaac's uh, putting a stomp and a knee into him. No problem about it. You know what? You, you know, once in a while, you got you to bend the rules in your favor sometimes. You gotta, as long as you break them before that fire comes. Oh, man, Frog Splash. Oh man, almost. Maybe a hush money could put him away. Oh wait a minute, he's going for it again? Oh man. This is this is gonna be some stuff right here, I'll tell you that much. And no, he's gonna tell Bandito to get right up. Oh man, oh my gosh. That was beautiful by Bandito. Holy cow. And the fans boo oh wow. Bandito maybe not that much a favorite. Oh man, and uh, 
Oh boy, hush money. Oh man, calm down. And Royce Isaacs does it. That's gotta be the biggest fix victory of his damn career. Wow. Royce Isaacs closing it out with hush money. I'll tell you what right now. <laughs> Would be interesting either way, hey, no doubt about it. Kind of like a celebrity death match. Yeah, definitely. I can understand that. Wow. And here it is right here. Here was what the here was the move that won it for Isaacs. Hush money. Very dangerous elevated German suplex. Penning German suplex. And Isaacs has a reason to celebrate because that was a very impressive victory, no doubt about it. Wow. Big victory. Isaacs keeping violence unlimited in the game, even though they came up short in that tag team title match. Uh, but Isaacs is still keeping them relevant with the uh, United States title holding on to there. Well, thank you very much, Joe Kenny, for joining us here on commentary. Hey, not a problem, man. I'll tell you what. It was great. Well, I'll tell you what. Thank you all for joining us here tonight in beautiful Washington, D.C. For Fatal and for Joe Kenny and for Marcus Cass, I am Joey Styles. You all have a good night, and we'll see you later on Friday or Saturday for another great edition of WCW. Take care, everybody.